sheep wolf, depicting the Roman myth of Romulus and Remus. She wolf was first showcased in 1943. When asked about the inspiration behind the painting, Pollock simply said, Any attempt on my part to say something about it, to attempt an explanation of the inexplicable, could only destroy it. The painting was acquired by the Museum of Modern Art. A beauty, isn't it? She wolf painting was created using oil, gouache and plaster on canvas. Pollock himself stated, She wolf came into existence because I had to paint it. His general attitude towards this specific piece was an overall reluctance to discuss any meaning behind the painting. Created before his drip style period, She Wolf highlights what many people believe to be mythological themes. The wolf in the painting has been compared to the myth of the city Rome's birth, in which the animal suckled the twin founders, Romulus and Remus. The She Wolf is drawn in heavy black and white lines while the body is overlaid with many abstract lines and swirls. The somber palette and overall dark nature of the piece, shows that period of time was affected by war and death. The She-Wolf was featured in Pollock's first solo exhibition, at Art of This Century Gallery in New York in 1943. MoMA acquired the painting the following year, making it the first work by Pollock to enter a museum collection. Long ago, in the kingdom of Latium, the good king Numitor was dethroned by his evil brother Prince Amulius. At the same time, Amulius banished Numitor's daughter, Princess Sylvia, to the Temple of Mars, where Sylvia married Mars, and somewhat later, the couple had twin sons, whom they named Romulus and Remus. It did not take long for news of the twins' birth to reach Amulius, who immediately ordered two of his servants to kidnap the newborns and drown them in the Tiber River. After a while, the babies awakened and began to cry from cold and hunger. Now, as it happened, a she-wolf was nearby that morning, and heard the newborn's cry, and although she feared people, her motherly instincts overcame her and she carried the two youngsters to her cave, where she reared them as her own. Jackson Pollock was born in 1912 in Cody, Wyoming, attended high school in Los Angeles, and landed in New York in 1930 to pursue art. In 1947, Jackson Pollock started dripping, flinging, scattering, and pouring paint onto canvases spread across the floor. Some thought it was lunacy, but the most influential voices thought it genius. That's the legacy that has prevailed. That's why you've heard of him and see his work in museums. That's why a single one of his paintings can sell for $50 million.